Hey friends and welcome back. Today I have a collab to share with you of a bunch of moms doing all sorts of green crafts. So make sure you check my description box for all of their links as well. So I am making some 3D letters out of cereal boxes and I have this printable that I will link below for you as well where I got all of my letters, all of the templates to cut out my 3D letters. So I just glued them with a glue stick to my cereal box and then just cut out all of the pieces of the letters. These printables are really great because you're going to cut on all of the solid lines and you are going to fold on all of the dotted lines and all of the gray areas end up being the sides of your letters. So they're great printable and they're labeled really well. After I got everything cut out, I went ahead and folded them. And since these are small-ish letters, I found that the easiest way to bend that line was to stick the whole piece of cardboard inside of a board book and then just bend the cardboard like so. And then that gave me where I needed to fold the rest of my letters. I tried to keep that glued paper. If it fell off, I made sure to at least just keep it because it did have those like bend lines. So I didn't quite peel the paper off just yet. I left it on while I was doing all of the bending. If it happened to fall off, I just put it to the side so I would have it in case I needed a reminder of what needed to be bent or what needed to be folded. And as you fold on these lines, you will see the letter start to come together. And then I just used hot glue to glue all of my edges together. You can also use tape to tape all of your pieces together. I just had hot glue, so it's what I ended up using. And then the whole letter sort of folds together just like if you were folding a box. So you have all of those little pieces and you can glue or tape them together. Another thing I did to help me with folding was to score the box with a box cutter. So I wasn't cutting all the way through, I was just like gently scoring it and then that would help me bend the pieces. But some of the pieces were really small so using the box cutter was just too small so I kind of went back to just using the book to bend everything like I was doing in the beginning. And then I had all of my letters done. I went ahead and I painted them all with a quick coat of green. And then I took some floral moss that I got from Dollar Tree and just some school glue and decided I wanted to kind of like moss the bottom of the word luck. So it kind of looked like grass or clover was growing up the word. So I just took some glue and put it right on the letters and then use my brush to kind of spread it out and then just smooshed that floral moss right on top of all of my letters. You 
You can really press this stuff together. So I just kind of molded it around my letters so you could see like the bottom part of the K. And then when I had them all done, woo, my camera was a little wiggly there, <laughs> I hit my tripod. But when I was done and it was dry, I just kind of trimmed the bottoms up so the letters were a little bit more defined and clean looking. And that's it, I just stuck it on one of my bookshelves and I think it looks super cute for St. Patrick's Day. I think it would also look cute if I spelled out spring, so I might do that as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, you can find more from us here. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures. Give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you have any big St. Patrick's Day plans. Bye guys.